everybody. I'm Alice K. Ruckelhouse from Suffering Well, and I'm here today to share two things with you. One is very timely. It's happening right now. And one is something that we have ongoing every day on our channel that we think is going to be really exciting and helpful for you. So first of all, I think I'm going to share what is just very timely. I'll share that really quickly, but I'll share it in more detail a little bit later. So right now, the USCCB is having a novena for life. It started today, May 22nd. We were a little um, lax and we didn't find out about it until today. So we don't have recordings for it, but we will be posting the prayer on our community post, which is the tool that we wanted to share with you that I'm really excited about. We've been doing this for a little while now and we post on it every day, um, but it's really helpful because we post there each day a list of prayers for you to pray with links to them so that um, it includes the nine month novena that Cardinal Burke has called for. It includes the prayer to St. Joseph that the UCS, USCCB has been asking us to pray um, through June. And then there's different prayers every day. And I'll show you the other things that we have on there, but it's a very, very helpful tool that a lot of people are finding to be very valuable. So I wanted to share it with you. Okay, so I'm gonna share my, my screen with you really quickly so that you can see how to find um, these things to find the tool that I'm telling you about, which is our community post. So if you go to our channel, this is kind of what it looks like. We're going to be changing this banner sometime soon, but for now, this is what it looks like. It'll have different videos at the top for you, depending on what YouTube thinks that you need to watch. Um, but you can click on videos and then you can see the latest videos that we have. Like yesterday, we posted this new version of Our Lady of Guadalupe Novena. It's always the same prayer to Our Lady of Guadalupe, but we combine it with different prayers to make it just to keep it fresh for you. So we do that sometimes once a week, sometimes every few weeks, um, but you'll find that. And then you'll also find our rosaries and other, other prayers and teachings and stuff. But what I want to take you to today, can you see where my cursor is? Okay, I'm going to click on community here. It's right above the videos. It says community. We're going to click on that. And that takes us to the community posts. Okay, so here's one that we posted today. And this is about the Novena to Life. So if you click on read more, then it has the readings for today and the prayer, which you can just pray. We have not recorded that. We're not recording this Novena. Um, but you can also, let me go back here. Okay, so we're, oops, go to the community channel. And you can also go down and you can see other community posts. Now, here's the kind of thing that we have each day. Different picture every day, okay? But I think that our pictures probably really stand out. They're different from most of what you see on YouTube. So you should be able to find them easily. Um, and, and of course, you can always find them by clicking on the community post. But if you have subscribed and you've hit the bell, then that will notify you each day of our posts. So what we have in our posts each day is sometimes we have a little introduction. Sometimes it's longer because it's like teaching you about, um, like for example, yesterday we we talked about the Septuum Presidium and that's an ancient prayer from the second century. It's really cool. So we gave a little background on it and that was one of the prayers that we had for that day. We always have the Divine Mercy Veneration, um, the Novena to Our Lady of Guadalupe, which is the prayer that uh, Cardinal Burke has asked us to pray every day until December 12th. And if you're just hearing about this now, just jump in and start doing it. Don't worry that, you know, it started a while ago, but, but get in on it now. And then in this particular instance, we've combined that with the prayer to the Holy Spirit for holiness. So if you click on this, it'll take you to that prayer. Okay. And then you can pray it along with us. We, the way that we do it is we're praying and we have the words written here for you so that you can pray along with us. That's how we do all of our prayers. Okay, so another thing that we have for today is the St. Joseph prayer. This is a prayer that, again, the USCCB has asked us to pray each day until sometime in June, whenever our legislature meets to decide on this particular drug. Um, 
uh, today. This is one that we don't do every day. We do different ones every day, but we're praying for trafficked children and for ourselves to have the courage to do what God calls us to do, to end child sacrifice in its various forms. And this is a prayer that David wrote for us. It's absolutely beautiful and it's, um, it's, it's moving. It will, and, and we ask God to help us, to show us what, what we can do. Sometimes it's something really little because, you know, I don't have access to government officials or anything like that, but there are little things that we can do. So it's like, God will show you what he wants you to do, but we also pray for the strength and the courage to do that. Okay. And then we have a rosary each day. Today is Wednesday when I'm recording this. So it's the glorious mysteries today. It's, it's whatever mysteries you're supposed to be praying on that day. And then we have some teaching. And we have right now, we're going through some of the martyrs. We're almost done with that, but we'll have more martyrs later. And then we're also teaching about the rosary and that, that will go on for maybe a couple more weeks, I think. And then, um, and then sometimes we have a question that if you want to answer, you can, it's really fun to have those answers. It helps us to understand where you're coming from and how we can help you more. But also we're hoping that people will start having conversations with each other on the community post comments and you know read the other comments that are there same thing on the videos read the other comments that are there comment on them get into conversation with each other we really want to be able to start a community of like-minded people who like to pray um as you know we're called suffering well so people who want to suffer well and to offer up their suffering and unite it with Christ. Um, that's a whole different topic, so I'm not going to get into that here. But that's basically what we have each day. And it's, like I said, it's different each day. So we post those every day. Some people click on each thing, and they they pray along with us on every one of those prayers, and they use the teaching for part of their devotional time. Um, other people just look at it, and they you know, choose which prayers interest them or if a teaching interests them. Um, we have announcements. If we're having a class on Zoom, we'll announce that here also and, you know, tell you what the requirements are for it and everything. Um, they're always free, by the way. Everything we do is free. So that gives you an idea about the community post. So what I wanted to tell you, though, about this novena is that it's leading up to the Feast of Visitation, which is May 30th. The visitation, of course, is when Mary went to visit her cousin Elizabeth, and Mary was pregnant with Jesus. Elizabeth was present, pregnant with um, with John the Baptist, and you know, so they greeted each other. This is where the Magnificat is from. That's the song that Mary sang. It's also a very important prayer, and uh, which we pray sometimes. We have that on the community post sometimes. And then also Elizabeth, she she had a monologue at that point too. This is in Luke one, and um, and she called Mary the mother of my Lord, which is where we get mother of God. Um, so and and then John the Baptist jumped in. Elizabeth's womb because he recognized Jesus in Mary's womb. So this is an important feast and, you know, it really is a great time to pray for life because it's two pregnant women coming together and celebrating their babies, really special babies. And every baby is very, very special. So those will actually be separate community posts. So we'll have right now for the next nine days, we're going to have two community posts. We'll have the one that has what you can use for your devotional, the prayers and the teaching. And then we'll have another one that is just the novena for life. And it'll say that at the top. There's always a heading at the top that tells you what's in that particular post. So you can look and see if you're interested in it without even opening it. And we hope that you enjoy the artwork. That's um, It's one of a kind artwork that's specially created for us. And so it's really special. And um, I think that's it. <laughs> so let us know if you like the community posts, um, if you like the individual community posts, but also if you like the idea, if that's a, a helpful tool for you, try it out for a while and see if it's helpful for you. And I hope that you'll be joining us at least for this novena. Okay, we love you all. Um, I'm speaking for David as well as myself. He's not here with me today, but we pray for you all, especially if you leave prayer requests for us. We do pray for those individually and by name. So um, we like to pray. That's that's one of our main things is praying for people. So we love it when you leave your 
prayer intentions for us and we pray for those and we hope that you will update us on those as they get answers or as there's more need or whatever. But um, we love you all and I will see you later. Bye-bye.